Well, another thing I want to actually ask is just, has, uh, I suppose everyone here has seen that there's the new Sky system that's being introduced into yes. Blender. Has, yeah. anyone, has anyone yes. here actually tried the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on? Yeah. I've tried that. I've looked at it. Hmm. I, I've played around yeah. with that quite a lot and I really like it. Now, I haven't actually taken a look at the new Sky stuff yet. I was just wondering, is that comparable to the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on in any way? Yeah, that physical starlight. I, I don't. I don't have it. I was. I was gonna buy it, um, and then. Uh, and then, like, I, I. I saw that he doubled the price or something like overnight, and I was kind of like, ah, all right, mm. yeah, maybe I'll wait. And then, um, and then I ended up just not picking it up at the moment. But uh, it looked really good because he's not using the Jose Wilkie. He's using like a whole hybrid of stuff. But uh, that that other one, the new one, looks really really nice too. So I know he's getting like the uh, the Venus. Um, now, now, now it escapes me, but it's like a, a kind of like a, a banding halo effect um, on the bottom and stuff. It's, it's very physically accurate. Yeah. But, but, uh, and he's saying he's going to include clouds and other things later on. I don't think he's done it yet. And then planet, you know, complete spherical planet rendering, which would be really, really nice. Like Terrigen does a, Terrigen does a phenomenal job with that. But, um, you know, he's got the railway scattering in there and stuff. So I don't know how, how it's going to, the new one is, it looks really nice. I'll say that in 2.9. Yeah, I think it's a good feature for Blender just to have inside of it. So this mm -hmm. is just an HDRI you can control that's physically accurate. This is the point? Pretty much. Okay. Well, HDRI Haven is uh, my go-to. I like getting reflections right. of the street and stuff like this. I love HDRI Haven. Go I yeah, it's great. The number great of videos, time. I put links to it in the description. It's brilliant. There's, there's another HDRI add-on that came out recently. Um, oh, HDRI. HDRI Maker. Oh, right. Um, same guy who does the extreme PBR combo. That's just, I think a lot of maybe HDRI Haven textures brought into Blender and it's just like click of the button, just go nuts. That, yeah, and cool. you can also make your scene an equi rectangular map. I think that's another thing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There was one feature that, that the advertising, they kept talking about over and over and over. They're, so normally you have the spherical mapping, but there's also a way to map a HDRI with the ground plane, kind of like they mm -hmm. do in Substance Painter, I think. So I can do that. Mm. Cool. And then you can project. Um, yes. The, if you've got an item on the ground, you can project it directly, the HDRI directly onto that item. So you actually have kind of like a bump on the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. I like the idea of that. Yeah, the only, the only nice thing about about having a sky system, like we had one in Mental Ray forever, uh, is that you can you can dial in the uh, the time of day, you can dial in atmosphere, you can dial in a whole lot of stuff. So if you want to really match stuff, I mean, like if you're like matching plates or something, and you're lucky enough to get lighting data from on set, I don't know how often that actually really happens, but if you can, then great. Um, but if not, you know, you can kind of dial it in and and really kind of dial in the look you want, versus being kind of forced to, you know, go through a whole library of HDR images to kind of match what you're going for, but it's it's subjective, really. It's two point nine only, right? I for the I, the I new sky so. stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, I, it's it's just been too buggy for me. The only thing I'm looking forward to in two point nine is the the modifier dragging. That should have been a thing like years ago, mm. but not for who knows what reason yeah mm. this is my hdr maker the Ryko theta theta v oh is it oh cool yeah works pretty well i mean it's not super high quality like images but do one in your room, room. <laughs> an hdr uh, in your bedroom yeah does that, does, it, does that go on a on a um on a, on a rotation gimbal or is that does that uh is it like fish it's a 360 or? degree camera whoa um, so it also has a bracketing mode. So usually um, I just set it up. If I'm like incorporating some uh, CG to like an actual, like real footage, I just set it up, it takes some oh, brackets, sweet. then merge them in Photoshop. And it, it works pretty well for like matching lighting. Um, but tell me, easier. Jacob, it needs That's to be on a work. tripod, right? Yeah. So oh, how yeah. do you remove the tripod? You know, it's going to be on the bottom. Right. You could like go through each of your bracketed photos and clone stamp it, which is a huge hassle. But most of the time, I mean, I have a black tripod, so I, I just kind of scrap it and leave it in there. But if you were professional, that's what you would do.